Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A while ago I showed you this crazy method to light a match. So use the original matchbox and then shoot. <laughs> and I was contacted by the Idahoan, which is a channel on the internet that deals with homemade muzzle loaders, amongst other stuff. And uh, he said, let's do a collaboration. Uh, build a lock for a muzzle loader and uh, I built the muzzle loader which in the US is legal and here it is not because there's no original, the historic original for it and um, therefore I said okay I'm going to build the lock and I'm going to send it to you and we agreed on specs for the gun so I can build a lock that he can I immediately attach to his gun and um, therefore I started from this but to be honest it wasn't reliable enough it was not igniting every time and uh, also, um, uh, I wasn't really happy with the, with, the, with the fact that the matchbook would actually wear out very, very quickly at the spot. So it was kind of eating matchbooks. So I completely redesigned it and I also made a dummy of the gun that the Idaho is going to make. So that I can test it as good as I can without building a real gun. So here is my fake muzzle loader pistol with a matchbook lock. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you its features. So I put a steel pipe, which is actually not blocked, so it's not a functional gun. It would actually kill the shooter. <laughs> and I made the same kind of pan as the Idehoen has designed. So you can simply push this back, so it locks in to the trigger here. And um, you can see you can close the pan, so that the powder would not fall out. And you can open it. And then you supposedly have access to the main powder charge in here. So this is just a manual pen protector. And now I can exchange uh, the match against a new one, simply by removing it and throwing it away. And then you can take the new match and simply insert it into this here, like so. And here is the matchbook that I can just lower to get it into touch with it and then I can pull the trigger. But also the matchbook is now easily removable, as you see. can very easily exchange it against an, a new one. But also, the position here is adjustable. So this means that I can push this over, as you see. I can move it from left to right, so that I can find a fresh piece on the matchbook, because you need the contact with this here, without contact to this here, which is actually potassium, um, it would not ignite because it's a safety match. So now it gets in touch with a fresh piece of the matchbook. And as you see, I put the trigger down here where it belongs, but because the lock is he up here, I use a little bit of paracord string to transfer the action from down here to up here, like so. What you can also see is that I put some aluminum in the front here, so that the igniting powder charge is not going to burn down my entire wooden construction. In order to test it, I, it's not legal for me to use black powder in this construction here, uh, so I can put black powder in the pan. But I will simply scratch off some match heads from some of these matches and put it in and see if it ignites, and we're going to film that in high speed. So what I did is, I put some match heads there's a little bit of wood inside here, scraped it off, and this is going to be our powder charge for the ignition. Okay, we open the powder pan, lower the matchbook, and fire. <laughs> it worked. <laughs>
I will now remove this from the fake gun here and send the lock to the Idahoan and hopefully he's gonna be able to make a first real shot with it. I hope you like this because that's it for today. Thanks and <laughs> bye bye.